the other big news of the last week or so <clears throat> was uh, the selection of a certain vice presidential candidate. And oh. Uh, oh, I, yeah. and uh, so as everybody is, is, I'm sure, well aware at this point, Kamala Harris or Kamala Harris is now the vice presidential candidate of the Democratic Party. And uh, even uh, I think presumptive as we... president, presumptive yeah. president, <laughs> right? <laughs> and, and you know, and even as we speak, there's I think the Democratic <clears throat> National Convention is going on uh, with plenty of yeah. keynote speeches talking about uh, how we're all going to you know probably go up in flames here unless uh, in, unless Biden is elected and uh, and so on and so forth along with Kamala. Uh, but I, I think it's particularly. I mean, this is a very interesting choice because, of course, we were told very early on by Biden that uh, that he was going to select an African American woman to uh, as his running mate. But it's kind of awkward to to call Kamala an African American woman when neither of her lineages really go into Africa. Uh, I mean, she's technically Indian American, first of all. Don't we all go back to Africa eventually? Well, I mean, if you if you want, but in that case, like <laughs> then the then the terms begins to lose all semblance of any right. meaning, right? I know, I know. I'm so, a... I mean, even in even prior news, you're either already... in Adam or you're in Christ, Doug. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> darn right. But uh, <laughs> but but realistically, you're not the only like, one that can wear glasses. Even prior, uh, yeah, I've got mine here too. Uh, I, Prior news articles have talked about how uh, heralding that she was the first Indian American, as in as in heritage India, the country, right? right. Um, at, you know, as be in in high political office, um, which is you know okay. Well, now you're just we're we just going to switch gears. Okay, that's fine. But even more like, but despite the fact that like all that and you know identity politics stuff, like screw that stuff. I mean, that's just garbage anyway. <laughs> Um, I mean, let's let's for, let's forget about that. Her policies, I mean, the way that she runs and what she has stood for over the course of her political career is just heinous. I mean, yeah. I don't even I don't even believe her when she says, "Oh, oh, I, I'm for you know uh, for legalizing marijuana, for instance." I mean, okay, if you believe that, then you should also be saying how many people you should be pardoning whom you convicted. Yeah, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. so like I don't see any form of repentance on her part for for priorly held views that uh, that sent all sorts of nonviolent criminals behind cages. So yeah. you know, get real, uh, Kamala. Uh, I'm, I'm I, I mean, there there was hardly a way that uh, that the Democratic Party could have picked a a, a worse candidate there. Carrie, um, what does your so son think about Kamala Harris? Does this all the time, oh. <laughs> Declan? Hey, we love having a guest on our show. <laughs> yeah. We should always have guests. Yeah, <laughs> let me go wake up my three-year-old. As, uh, as you can see, we're all quite the family people around yeah. here, or at least, or at least oh, Carrie yeah. is. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, it, Carrie, you're a woman, so like you're the only person who can like actually comment on this, you know, and offer some really good wisdom. Wait, wait, I mean, wait, 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 you wait. Really before happy? I was the girl. Yeah, no, yeah, you're. <clears throat> Well, we're, now we're there's up here. Yeah, yeah. I've graduated. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, according I'm to learning. what I heard, from what I heard, you've you've had the right to vote for a hundred years as of today. As of we today. Have? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, that's yes. news to me. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, Congratulations. To you. <laughs> we all did so much work for that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> to make every vote count a little yeah. bit less. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now that we can vote, everyone's vote is worth less. <laughs> all right. All right, Doug. Right. So what's your question? Sarcasm. My question is, as a woman, what does mm -hmm. it feel like to have a female vice presidential candidate on a major party platform? So, I, I, this is like wait, such a dumb question. Wait, but... wait, wait, so, wait, so, so now... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, if we're going to talk about women candidates, I'd rather talk about Joe Jorgensen. But um, she's you know, at least interesting. <laughs> she's at least interesting. Um, you know, how do I feel about a, a female vice presidential? <laughs> gosh darn it! Oh okay, my gosh! Right off. He's there, but not really there. It's okay. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. You know, she's she's 
All she's going to do is, is have the same policies that we've had before, if not worse, quite frankly. Um, in sure. fact, there's, you know, there, I, I was following some people on Twitter who, uh, are never Trumpers and, um, you know, somebody had asked him, um, or, or had asked their, their Twitter feed, how can we be supporting this, this female vice presidential candidate who said that she, uh, believed Joe Biden's, um, accusers yeah. of sexual assault and, and like remain consistent in our stances against abuse and abuse within the church and, and that sort of thing. And I, there were, there were people on there, you know, me too, and church too, people who were like, cause Trump is just terrible and he's narcissistic and he's this and he's that. And I linked an article to him from The Intercept pointing out that uh, when she was uh, in California, she withheld information from um, <clears throat> survivors of uh, sexual abuse from the Roman Catholic Church. And it's like, you know, there's, there's no, there's no way, um, stop it, honey. <laughs> there's, there's no way that, that, you know, somebody who uh, wants to be an advocate for um, victims of sexual assault and sexual violence can actually take her seriously as a candidate. Uh, um, so, you know, okay, so she's a woman, big whoop de doo I, I don't care, her policies stink. Yes. Yeah, and, and that is, it's particularly interesting too, to kind of see this dynamic that's playing out even with this, uh, the way that she treated Biden on the campaign trail for primaries, mm -hmm. and now yeah. they're all buddy buddies. You know, even yeah. to the point at which there's a there's a there's a clip going around of Stephen Colbert interviewing uh, Kamala, uh, you know, via the internet, and he's he actually just kind of like actually asks her the question kind of straight up, like, okay, well, yeah. you said Biden, you know, uh, was a a, a, a harasser. And mm -hmm. essentially a racist as well. Even making this whole story, you know, about how oh, if it, if it, if he had gotten his way, she would never have gotten on the bus to go to school. Uh, she, would, she would have kept he would he would have kept it segregated and so on and so forth. And and I mean, like okay, you, you did a heartstring pulling story there. Congratulations. But you know, like so, what are you now? You're all pals now. Mm -hmm. And what's her response? It was a debate, and that's all she debate, yeah. laughs, laughs, ha, 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 ha. It was a debate. It was a debate. She repeats herself like four yeah. times. Words yeah. don't mean so, things. Well, exactly. Yeah. Like, so, so what are you? Are you? Are you basically saying? Well, I lied. Well, and it, I mean, it's it's it. I, I think it remarkable. is pointing out the absolute uselessness of those uh, debates. It's exactly. Like, it's a complete farce. It's it's and political she just theater. Said it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she yep. just said it. Yeah. yeah. Frankly, so, as a, so it's like. Go ahead. Oh, so it's like, it's like, you know, suddenly the, the emperor has no clothes. Suddenly, you know, here's pay no attention to the man behind the curtain anymore. I mean, everything is getting exposed. So yeah. it's like, that's, I guess we can be thankful for that. But is anybody going to listen? No, because nobody's going to cover it. Because that's yeah. not, that's not the story anymore. Right now, it's all about, you know, the post office and whatnot. And <laughs> yeah, as an ancestral Welshman, I would really like to know when politics are going to start catering to me. I don't think we have had any <laughs> Welsh president or vice presidents. How dare right? they? How well, dare just, they? just elect me and I'll be your first Native American. Yeah. I mean, doubt that. at least more so than Elizabeth Warren would have been. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah.